What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Leon, this is Carl. Welcome back, Carl. What's up guys, how's it? If you're new to this channel, we are Zarps Metal Detecting South Africa. And um, yeah, man, I think it's been over a month since you guys have seen Carl and I dig together. But uh, yeah, we had some COVID and Carl got COVID after me. And man, yeah, we're just glad uh, everybody's happy and safe and back and healthy. And uh, we're back out digging. So, yeah, man, back out today. A few of our old spots, and uh, we killed it, man. We got some really cool stuff to show you guys. Um, and we met some, some new friends, uh, also in the same area. Um, super, super nice guys. But, yeah, man, like always, thanks for coming along, and we'll see you guys on the finds. Okay, first signal, yeah it's a 79, but it's coming in low 80s. <clears throat> We've got some interference here because there's a big or a large uh, power cable or something running over here, or close by. Let's see. Sounds like it uh, could be out. Hmm. <clears throat> there we are. What is this? A tin pig piece of wire. Okay. Cool. Right, guys, so next target. Just flipped it out and it rolled over there. But it's a little four hole. You see that? Nice little four hole button. Check it out. It's the first one for the day. It has some markings on it, so I'll give it a quick brush and uh, I'll show you. There you are, and I'll do a quick brush. Uh, it says Berkeley's and Company. Looks like Birmingham. Um, so yeah, nice. No detail or markings on the back. But that's the first four hole button. Cool. Let's see if we can find a two piece or a general service today. Nice one. So yeah, I've got a low 60s again. 63, 65. So similar as that first four hole. So I'm going to love dig this one because I didn't love dig the previous one. So I haven't been to this area for a while and uh, I remember the signals here uh, would come in a bit differently. So let's have a look. Yep, there we are, right over there. Let me change cameras. Okay, second button. Uh, right after I got that first four hole, have a look at that. Let's see here. If it's the same or different. No, this one looks, this one looks different. Also feels different. So, let me see what markings this has. Uh, it looks like it might have something on the back as well. Let me give it a brush. Okay, so I don't want to be too rough. I think this is like a, a pewter four hole, but it does say um, Player Brothers. 
over there. Don't know if I can get that in. There we are. It says Player Brothers, also Birmingham. It's got some fancy at the back. And now I found some of these in the past, but um, yeah, I nicked it. Well, I didn't nick it, I actually broke off as I was giving it a brush. So it's very, very fine. It's busy crumbling, not in the best condition. But it's a button. Awesome, man. Cool. Let's find some more. So yeah, I've got a very soft, low 90s, high 80s, bit of an iffy one, but the sand is very soft, so the targets do go deep. So let's see. Here we are, 90, 91. Is that a button? Yep, I've got a button. I've got a two piece. Shanky's still there. General service. Awesome, man. Awesome. Here we are. Let me give this a quick brush and uh, I'll show you guys a close up. Nice. Now, check at that, guys. Look how beautiful that button is. It looks almost brand new. So, I gave it a good clean with my brass brush and uh, that is awesome, man. So, general service, man, this is in beautiful condition. The back, you can see, still has the shank. Yeah, that is awesome. So I wanted to make sure I get a two-piece today. And there you have it. Awesome. That's brilliant. Let's see if we can find some more. Nice one. That is doing its thing. Cool. What's up, guys? So we're out again today. It's been quite a long time for me. Um, but yeah, my first, my first target. Uh, right over there. Got it out. And it's a bullet tip. So I first thought, I first thought it's uh, like a type of mini ball, but yeah, let me just try and zoom here. There we go. Um, but it doesn't appear to be because they're normally hollow at the end there, and this one is not. Um, so I'm not too sure exactly w which one it is or what it is, but uh, yeah, definitely period. Um, it's quite old this tip. Uh, yeah, if, if I'll do some research if, if it's significant, I'll let you guys know. But it's definitely Blue War period. And yeah, lack of first find, man. Cool. So, this is a solid, solid 75. Not, not jumping at all. Coming through nicely. Right over there. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay, a bit hard. Not sure why. So it's probably close to the surface. Let's grab the pointer. Let's check. Okay, uh, button, nice man. So there's a there's a stone or a rock just underneath it. Um, couldn't dig, so that's why it's close to the surface, maybe four or five centimeters. But yeah, nice foil button. Cool. So between these twigs, so and yeah, I'm getting a. Jumpy signal, anything from 75 up to 95. So it's a bit strange. Let's quickly see if I can get it out. Yes, there's a lot of rock here at the moment. 
making it a bit difficult to dig. Can't get in here. Let's see if I can get in on the side. No. Probably be on the surface. Let's have a look. Yeah, on the surface. In my hand. Oh, nice. Another one of those, <coughs> those uh, bullet tips. Found one just over there. Uh, this one's a little bit different. This one appears to be um, more like the mini ball I know than the other one. The other one was slightly bigger. Yeah, could be off a, off a 45 Webley. It appears to be. Could be wrong. But yeah, nice one, man. Second one of the day so far. Cool, I'm going to work this area. Let's see what we can find. Alright, guys. Got a nice sounding 88, 90, 86. It's dropping a bit. Let's have a look quickly what it is. Not out yet. Oh, there I see it. Looks like a buckle. See that over there? Nice. Nice little buckle. Check it there. Sheet, first buckle for the day. Don't see anything on it. But cool, man. On to the next. Um, didn't have the GoPro on target came out over there and it's a very nice foil button still in very good condition so it says Berkeley and Co and then this is the front side cool very good condition foil button nice man so yeah, we're getting we're getting there, we're getting some of the targets. Uh, let's see if we can find some nice ones. Cool, lekker. So I'm about a meter away from where I just dug that general service and I've got another signal here, it's a bit jumpy but it's in the low 80s, 85, 85. let's have a look, it might just be lucky. It's cleaning a bit up. It's high 70s now, low 80. Let's carry on. Right, still down there. There we are. Seventy one. There we are. It's another four hole button. <sighs> another four hole. I found a bunch of these today. So that is awesome. Quick brush, see what it says. Yeah, 
just says Birmingham something Smith Birmingham Smith and Wright looks like Smith and Wright Birmingham there we are awesome another four hole cool so you see how deep these targets are I mean that's like 20 almost 30 centimeters great okay next right guys so uh, Kyle and I got a new spot and uh, you can see there's a bunch of guys scanning um, we drove past and we saw them and uh, we came to say hello and uh, yeah man they were kind enough to say that we could stay and scan the same area so yeah man quite uh, quite nice guys so that's very cool of them any case <clears throat> Second target here, and uh, this is the second piece of, I call this a uh, tent wire. And, um, yeah, you can see there. So they used to use this to keep the curtains open or whatever the case may be. Um, that's what someone told me a long time ago, or the doors or whatever. So, yeah, good sign. Let's see if we can find something else. Yeah, I've got a mid to high 80s jumping around. <clears throat> There's a bit of trash here. But you never know. Let's see. Coming in the low 90s now. Might be the side wall. I think I might have seen a button. Let's have a look. Yep, got a button. I've got a button. It's a two piece button. And uh, let me change cameras, I'll show you guys. Just flipped it out, haven't touched it. Check it out, still got the shank. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It is general service. Nice one, nice one. Okay, let me give it a quick clean, I'll show you guys. Okay, gave it a quick brush, have a look at that. Not as nice as the one that I found earlier, but still got some nice detail. You can actually see some of the guild still coming, or trying to come through there. And awesome man, second general service, got the shank, happy days. Let's find some more goodies. Nice one. Right guys, I just popped this plug, I think it's already out, have a look at that, looks like a button to me, cufflink button, let's flip it over, <sighs> nice, cufflink button, sweet, nice one, that was coming in very iffy man, it wasn't too deep, I'd say about 6 centimeters maybe, have a look at that, let me just turn it the right way, <laughs> Cool, is Buwo period, is British general service cufflink button. Nice. First one for the day. Let's get some more. Right guys, got a 75, sometime jumping to like an 84, 85. That uh, small cufflink button was coming in so strange just now. So, yeah. Let's have a look. A lot of glass and stuff, yeah? As you can see, they someone came and actually dug all the old bottles out over here. Let's see. Huh. 
nice big general service button how weird is that eh coming in very strange not where we normally find them 75 to 88 very weird that's a nice Boer War period general service button sweet first one for the day nice right guys so uh, let's have a look at what the what we found today so on my side I got some of these uh, these J hooks uh, or tent wire um, looks like a 10 peg small piece of a harmonica some of my lead he has a big martini Henry that got smashed 303 tip and some looks like some buckshot nine mil this looks like a brass stud off of like a bandolier um, he has some of my four hole buttons that I got he has this nice little three pins zoom in there for you 1898 that's brilliant nice piece of silver um, and some of my general service buttons this one on the right that I cleaned uh, and this one I found at a second spot and Carl you got a nice piece of pottery there's a nice soft shell martini Henry 0.22 this looks like it could have been um, an old lead um, what do you call it a cufflink not sure a grommet some mystery items uh, some 303 cartridges uh, some lead don't know what caliber that is uh, looks like a shoe buckle with the letter B some of his four hole buttons also got a bunch of buttons he got some nice uh, general service cufflink buttons which is nice and also a tuning button over there and a the little brass uh, what do you call it buckle so yeah man good day not too bad for the first time out with Carl in weeks we did pretty well right guys so we're done for the day thanks a lot for coming along uh, and Carl always like being with you but and uh, yeah man doing the outro in our shop so shameless plug uh, we opened up an MDSA uh, store in Johannesburg. So for the guys that are in South Africa, in Gauteng, Johannesburg, if you're looking for some gear, come along, have a look and uh, support us. But yeah, like always, thanks for coming along and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Take it easy. Cheers. Hey, what are you doing? I'm waiting for you. No, lazy. Yeah. Huh? I'm scanning. And Carl sitting in the car like a lazy old bum. Hey, look how dick he got. Just come out and start detecting. It's my okay. COVID stuff. <laughs>